Dan Burson Games is very excited to present Gato Leader. Let's set it up. Place the tactical display and help sheets in front of you and select one of the four campaign sheets. I've chosen the 1942 Against the Sun campaign. Then choose the length of the campaign you want to play. A short campaign has one patrol. This means your subs will leave a port box, travel throughout the campaign map, dealing with convoy cards, participating in battles, and special conditions, then return back to a port box. The campaign length shows the total number of special option points you get for the campaign. You spend SO points to buy submarines and select special options for a campaign. You will earn victory points throughout your patrol by destroying enemy ships and participating in special missions. At the end of your patrol, just tally up your victory points to see how well you did. To set up your card decks, shuffle the Merchant, Escort, Naval, Event, and Convoy card decks and place them on their spots on the help sheet and the tactical display. Place all the hit counters into an opaque cup. Choose your submarines based on how many SO points you have. Each sub has an SO point cost. Make sure your sub is in service during the year of your campaign. I'm choosing the trained level Gato class submarine Silver Sides for 8 SO points. The trained level Gato class submarine Guardfish for 8 SO points. And the green level S class S44 for 2 SO points. Now that I have chosen my team, I place the counter representing my subs on the campaign map in any port box. The Against the Sun campaign only has one port, Pearl Harbor, but other campaign sheets have several ports. The sub on the counter can be on its surfaced or submerged side. It doesn't matter until it goes into battle. Next, I put six ammo counters and the appropriate number of torpedo counters on my subcards. Finally, I fill out my campaign log with my campaign and submarine info and my remaining SO points. The game is set up and I'm ready to play.